can smell the mold in this place. These little shafts right here are where all the deaths come from in urban exploring. Really watch your step. This is really caving in bad. Oh, no, there's bats here. No way. This, my friends, is a true hidden gem. I'm getting lost. We hit the jackpot. I'm Josh. And I'm Cody. As urban explorers, we travel the world to rediscover locations that have been abandoned and left to decay in time. No, this is it. Oh. We've created a personal bucket list of these forgotten destinations all over the planet. <laughs> Together with urban exploring friends, we'll track them down, capture the beauty of their ruin, and unearth the stories that people have left behind. This is sick. Oh. This is going to be the coolest room here. At the end of our adventures, we'll rank each location based on its history, beauty, purity, and thrill. Which destination will be on the top of our bucket list in the end? Let's go. Epic exploring. What's up, you guys? I'm here in Vietnam, more specifically Ho Chi Minh City, because we are going on an epic adventure, and we're gonna be finding how to get to this place called Swai Swai Cat Swai Swai Cat. I'm gonna have to figure out how the how the locals actually say it. It's an abandoned theme park. Whoa! Thanks. Welcome to Swai Cat. Oh, it's a house of mirrors. Whoa! So now I'm going to meet up with Sherman, one of the guys from HK Urbex, based out of Hong Kong. He's a, he's a local to the Southeast Asia area, so he's gonna be the one that I'm taking with me today because he knows he knows a lot of stuff and he knows a lot of history, so he's gonna be the perfect guy for this job. Today we are in Snowy Tallinn, the capital of Estonia. I've overheard that there's an abandoned prison sea fort here called Potterai Prison, known for its dark and cruel history that happened once the Soviets took over. Prisoners were shot and killed here for no reason by the KGB. And in 2016, visitors were no longer allowed here, putting this place in our bucket list for some urban exploring. Can you imagine, like, working or living here back in the day? Wow. I'm freaking out. But first, we have to meet our travel companion, a legend in the urban exploring community, Steve Duncan, a history know-it-all. My name's Steve Duncan. I'm an urban explorer, and honestly, I'm probably the oldest urban explorer I know of. And I got interested in the history of places after first starting to explore just because of the adrenaline. Dude, don't let me get us arrested. So I'm here basically to learn about Talon's history uh, through uh, Paterai Prison. <laughs> Hey, Steve. Josh. What's up, man? How, you doing? How are you? Good to meet you in person. I'm yeah, I'm glad you can come out. Yeah, I think this was a really good idea of yours. I'm glad you brought me along. So I've been doing some research on uh, Paterai Prison. That's your main goal for this yeah, expedition, the main, right? Yeah, the main goal is to get into Paterai Prison, and I really am just excited to kind of just learn more about it, and I want to find the execution room. I think this is the worst wing yet. Look at yeah. that, double sips of bars on the window. Oh, look. This could be it. 1827 was when it was first built as a sea fortress. Okay. Um, by the end of the 19th century, those fortresses just along the water, they were no longer much use because ships had big guns that could blast through those yeah, walls. Yeah, obsolete at this so, point. So, yeah. Because there are tons of history about this place. Like, people were killed for no reason by the KGB. It was the NKVD originally. Um, that was the uh, uh, internal uh, security apparatus of the Soviet Union. Uh, there have been um, five changes of governments around this prison, and each time they put the previous regime back into the prison. So it started off with Estonian independence. That was when it was first set up as a prison. Then um, in 1940, the uh, Russians took over. One year later, in 1941, the uh, German Nazis came and took over and put <laughs> The, a lot of the Russians in the prison. And then in uh, 44, um, the Germans were kicked out and Russians took over again. And then in 91, Estonia was able to take over once again. So there wasn't that many deaths when the Soviets were running it? It was more Nazis? 
look, I don't want to tell you that uh, the Soviet Union was, was nice. Right, right. <laughs> they okay. were not. And so yeah. under Stalin, especially in the early years, um, they had a huge number of people in prison and a huge number of people executed. And the statistics I've heard is that somewhere around 2,000 people were executed at Paderai prison during the uh, Soviet regime. Do you want to go to the hotel? I got it. I pretty much picked out a good one. I hope you like it. You must be tired. New yeah. York. Cool. filmmaker in Hong Kong. I'm also a part of the urban exploration scene there. I feel as a visual creative that we have an obligation just to document and preserve these heritage spots. I feel like having that ability to capture it and preserve it is very, very important. And not enough people in the city stress that. Dude, I'm so excited. You know anything about this place we're going to? It's like Sweet, Sweet Cat, I think it's called. It's called a Sweet Cat? Sweet, no, no, Sweet, Sweet Cat. Sweet Cat, Sweet Cat, Sweet Cat. It's like a theme park, right? Yeah, yeah, Sweet Cat. Oh, man. I'm Pretty excited, excited man. Adventure is out there, let's go. Dude, I think it's like a four hour ride away. Oh, man. So I think the best way to see Vietnam is by a, a motorcycle. I actually fell off a moped last time in Thailand, but like, <laughs> that's the last time I had, you know, like, I came across a moped, but yeah, man, I'm, ready I'm to down, get, man. You're ready I'm to get back on the Ready back there on the horse, ready to get back on the horse. Motorbikes, and we're gonna be driving around in this. Do you know about Sui Cat? Do you know how to get there, Sui Cat? Sui Cat. Pan Pan Tiet. Pan Tiet. Sui Cat, like the uh, amusement park. Uh, you know how to get there? Directions. I got this. Yeah, it's pull up the map. I'm gonna like Google Translate it. All right, hold on. Let's see, Sui Tian Theme Park. That's 40 minutes away. That's. That's not, I don't it's think not it's, Sui Cat. That's not the one we're looking for. It has like the similar pronoun, Sui, Sui Tian. That's not the one we're looking for. Yeah, we can check it out. If we can. We still can go check it out, yeah. So it's, I mean, it's only 40 minutes away. We might as well go see what it's Adventure like. Adventure time. Might as well go uh, <laughs> check it out, all right. Let's do this, man! <laughs> this whole traffic jam is because of us. Dude, this is insane. Yo, this is not what I signed up for! Whoa! You almost just died! Huh? The traffic here is insane! I think we're turning! Oh my god! How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? We did it! Ah! The hotel we're staying at is called Hotel Bayrou. Okay. And the reason why we're staying there, the KGB were literally spying on everyone there that stayed there. The, t the KGB stayed on the 23rd floor, but no one knew about it. All their equipment's still there. Every, like, yeah. Really? Yeah, everything is still there. So right now we are on the 23rd floor of Hotel Bayrou. This is the secret room the room that we're all wondering about. Here is Pavel. Pavel is gonna show us around here and tell us more about the KGB. Exactly. Well, you know, when people come to our hotel, they certainly get to see a lot of things. And here, indeed, for 20 years, there was located one of the KGB rooms. That is why access to this floor was limited, to put it mildly. So did the hotel workers know anything about this floor? Yes, they kind of knew there was a KGB oh. department in the building. And now, you're actually in the radio center as we refer to it. And this is one of the real KGB rooms. Doesn't mean it was the only one. According to the draft, on the second floor, we have a big restroom, still exists. And they also built a couple of little rooms. Um, originally, those rooms were meant to be restaurant office and staff lounge. Mm. But in fact, 
When the hotel was inaugurated, those rooms were also occupied by the KGB department because they had three primary areas of interest. They had to watch the bugged rooms, the restaurant, and also the hard currency bar, which we have on the second floor. So when a suspicious citizen came to the restaurant, they could also spy on him too, because in the arsenal of the KGB department, there were such plates. It's a replica of one. Uh, in fact, some of those plates were bugged. Oh, yeah, yes, if you really felt it, the, this part of this plate was always a little bit thicker. There was just so much people listening and spying on everyone. You almost think they're just throwing everyone in jail for no reason. Like, I don't even, I, I just don't get it. Well, there are so many rules, it feels like you couldn't help but break one rule or another, even accidentally, you know? And uh, uh, what I've read is that at any time, Paderai had like a 50% political prisoners, which to me means people who were kind of arrested on suspicion, right? Well, yeah. we'll see where they were held. I'm just actually pretty mind blown right now. Yeah, but now we're trying to get there and we didn't even do anything wrong yet. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> Check out this theme park and uh, maybe we can see what a theme park is like here, one that's not abandoned before we head out to uh, Sweet Cat. Yeah. What? Yeah. Sweet Cat. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, oh, dude. Look at this dragon. The size of that, man. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Are there any rides here? Look at this frog, Whoa. though. I keep seeing this frog everywhere. Yeah, I think it means it's it's good luck in Vietnamese culture. Apparently, like only the three-legged frogs have like the carry luck. I don't I don't know what happens when it's four-legged. Well, this thing has three legs. Or it's for prosperity and like good business. Yo, I know these guys. You know these guys? I know these guys. This is the Chinese. Uh, this is the twelve zodiacs. Oh, okay. Wow, I never knew any of this. Like, I knew, like, generally that there was Chinese years, but... I'm the dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I knew I was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at the Gator Park. Holy croc! No, are they actually real? Yeah, dude. This one's mouth is just stuck open. Yeah, dude, it's... Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, good luck. Oh, yes. Oh, it's game time. Yeah, fishing rods. Like, let me see if I can tease them. Like, this feels kind of, in, this kind, this feels kind of ethically wrong, but... Like, what happens if I put the meat here? Yeah, so what happens if he just, like, drags you in with the <laughs> rod? <laughs> what is this BS? <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, I got my fish. Do the barrel roll. Reel him in. Reel him in. He's trying to pull me in because he wants the real food, which is, <laughs> which is us. I'm so thrilled we got to feed those crocs. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> Dude, oh, definitely my highlight. I thought I thought they were all fake for a second. I thought they were all fake, but they were real. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it was good. I mean, it's getting it's getting to be sunset now, so we might as well just get a hotel yeah. and uh, go back, get ready, get prepped, get proper rested. Man. Yeah, because there's no way I'm driving through the night. I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. Heard of uh, soy, soy, cat? soy cat? One more time. Soy, soy cat. cat? No. I know. I know. Soy cat. Yeah. Soy cat. Yeah. Yeah. You've been there. I win me fall. I win me. What was it like? <laughs> was, there, was it busy? Think, yeah, busy and very beautiful. Very A lot of people come as uh, soy cat. Yeah. Do you know why it was abandoned? Like why it shut down? Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a uh, deposit to uh, build villa. I think oh, maybe, to, to build more yeah, things. Yeah. Mansion, gentrification. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So they kind of just oh. they kind of just shut down so they could build other stuff around there. Yeah. It's sad, man. This happens too often. That happens a lot in uh, Asia. All our places, man. Everywhere. All our places. But you think they're gonna bulldoze it? Like they're gonna completely oh, bulldoze yeah, it? Yeah, it's it? about two weeks. Yeah, oh. I heard. I heard. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing we uh, we came now. Thank Apparently, you, we're gonna oh, be. We're gonna be some of the last ones to ever go here. Probably the last ones if, we, if this is gonna be gone in two weeks. Yeah.
today's the day. Yeah. I ended up charging up all my batteries. I'm super excited, ready to go. But like, I just hope we actually, think about it. You flew here from New York, and I'm just a little nervous we don't get in. So I'm trying, I mean, I just hope we find a way in. <laughs> We're gonna end up in prison one way or another. We gotta meet up with Kadi at the Seaplane Harbor. First. Oh, that's Maybe right. Maybe she'll have an, an idea about how to get in. Yeah. I do want to talk to someone local. Um, mm. I uh, emailed this woman, Kadi. She used to be a tour guide, and she seems to know a lot about the place. Hey, are you Kadi? Yeah, I'm Kadi. Oh, hey, nice to meet you, Josh. This is Josh. Steve. How are you Hello, Josh. Steve. I'm Kadi. Thank yeah. you for meeting us. Well, how did you start learning about Paderai? Because you seem to be kind of the expert. I became really interested in collecting memory and trauma, and it's an amazing memory site. You have layers upon layers. Uh, I started to call it a geography of grief, because every step away where is someone else's suffering and painful memories, I took former inmates and employees and people connected to the place to this uh, um, most notorious prison uh, to walk with them were to see how they remember, what they remember, how they interact with this place now. It was uh, absolutely a mind-blowing thing. Speaking about the prisoners, yeah. um, I read something online that one broke his own leg to stay in the infirmary because it was nicer there. Like, can you elaborate on that? I interviewed the inmates, I interviewed doctors uh, who worked there, and they said they were afraid of night shifts because you, every night you had attempted suicides. <laughs> But another aspect was uh, people hurting themselves to end up uh, in a uh, prison hospital uh, because Jeez. when you could stay in bed, you get better food and it wasn't so terrible and overcrowded. And uh, so people were eating rusty metal, cutting off their digits. Uh, <laughs> One guy took two metal bowls we're eating from, tied them with bed linen around his uh, leg, and the other guy jumped on it from upper level of bunk bed with two legs. You that's can feel it. Insane. Yeah. That's, it's, yeah. Uh, that, but that just shows how bad the conditions were and how they, how they were treating the, the prisoners there. Yep. Do you know where a lot of people killed at the prison itself? 2,000 people were executed. They were shot. Executions were carried out there already in 1920s, 30s, when it was death yeah. by poison or death by hanging, then other place. And then uh, during the Second World War, Nazis, they both uh, shot people, but they also hanged them. There was one public hanging uh, that had taken place 17 uh, July 1944, when four people were left hanging as warning to others in the courtyard there. And then, uh, during Soviet era, they were shot uh, in a particular chamber that was next to the carriage, so they could carry the corpses out, put them on a lorry and drive them away. So what's its current status as of right now? As of right now, it's in really bad shape, but uh, yesterday, uh, there were news that uh, it's officially for sale. As of yesterday? Yeah. These kind of things happen all the time. There's so many abandoned places that's on our bucket list that we want to go to. Mm -hmm. And as, at any moment, they can go for sale, they can get knocked down, things just happen. Mm -hmm. And this place is as of, for sale as of yesterday. Mm -hmm. If someone were to buy that even the same day or, or right now, we couldn't even go in there. So it's, it's great that we came right now. This is the perfect time to be here. We're about to go in. This looks ridiculous. Actually, this is the yeah, courtyard. I think you're right. This is where the, the four people were hung. The prisoners, to, to make them fear and scared, they can probably see them right out the window if these are all, if they are all uh, cells. So right now, it feels so quiet inside of here. You can just, I mean, everything to me, I mean, I like old structures. It feels beautiful, but you can just, you know, if you know the history that you're surrounded by sorrow and sadness. And it's like, it's like, should you be excited? It, is it wrong to be excited? But I, I just feel like I like it. I feel super excited of being here. Up here, the watchtower, you can literally see the whole entire courtyard. Everything that surrounds this place, wall for wall, you're seeing everything under us. No one could possibly get away. They were literally all trapped in there. This place was well protected, and that's why only one person escaped, and they escaped from the drain tunnel. So, uh... I think it's time to try to find a way inside now. Soldiers in bayonets. No lock. 
me pushing you? Oh, oh man. Just nice. like that, we could get hurt. <laughs> wow, it's like the entrance to a castle. Let's see if any of the lights work. Oh, hey. What? Nice. We don't we even need our lights. lights. That's, inc that's crazy. So we're on the ground floor right now. It's mostly meant for the guards, paperwork, things like that. You can smell the mold in this place. I probably should be wearing a uh, asbestos breathing mask right now. You kids worry so much. What is this? It's either a head chopping block or <laughs> a kitchen block. <laughs> I think we should head upstairs and see if we can find yeah, something no. more intact. Yeah. What's up, man? How's it going, bro? It's going, it's going. I'm doing some research on um, my sway cat right now. Oh, I, I found some pictures last night. Oh, say where, show me. This this is like the front of it, I'm guessing. It's this like giant, it almost looks like a giant devil's head. Yeah. Was this when it was still open? Yeah, this is when it opens. You can see all the people here. And see this, like, I found that giant frog. Yeah, 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 it's from the- That money frog. The, yeah, 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 is it three-legged? I think, I'm guessing. It looks like on the entrance, there's like these gargoyles. These. That's actually, uh, it's in Chinese culture, it's called a krillin. They're pretty much like a, a half beast and half kind of like mythological kind of creature, right? All right, sweet. It's like, it's known to be really strong and it stands like as a sentinel guarding over gates and stuff like that. They're very scary in Chinese culture, supposedly. Okay. But yeah, man, let's do this. Cool, let's do it, yeah. Got everything? Yep, all set. Cool. the Great Wall here. I'm sure there's an, there's probably another way around the side. Oh, dude, right here. Check for Barb as well. Seems fine. Uh, grab onto the metal parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, we're in. And we're off. Woo. Just past the entrance, we are going into what well, looks like an, a bare shell of a hotel. So I thought this was like an abandoned hotel, and it is, but it was actually never completed. So there's no there's no carpet, there's no hardwood floor, or anything like that. I'm guessing they they started to build it. They ran out of money or they just closed it down. Yeah, the and windows aren't even up, it's not furnished, there's no Yeah, they didn't put Travel's anything in not it. Here. It's not even a railing. <laughs> in these abandoned places, you have to be so, so careful of these. These little shafts right here are where all the deaths come from in urban exploring. Usually there's some kind of spike or pole down there. Typically when we go to places like this, I mean, it's more of the, the structure of the building that's kind of cool because you know every single room you're gonna go in, it's gonna be completely empty. Here, take this. Oh, I got you. Guys, we are now on the roof of this place. Check it out, we can see the whole rest of the park. This place is massive. This place is actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. We have uh, a lot of statues, a lot of buildings to cover, but it looks like they might uh, be pretty empty. So this one might be different as opposed to other abandoned places where it's all about finding the items in these uh, locations. This one, I think it's more about the, uh, the whole park in general and seeing the park and what it was like. Yeah, man, it's a plan. Right. 
Let's do it. Let's see what upstairs has in store for us. There's an old, like, uh, dungeon light. <laughs> Welcome to the dungeon. I think we're coming up the cells, my friend. Got the nice checkered flooring. We're hitting some jackpots. Look at that, look at that poster. Tell me that's not freaky. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> I don't think it's good enough to tell. Could be you. <laughs> what is this? What do you think that is? No, I don't it's like know. crystal. Think... Crystal's all inside there. Steve, by some chance, this is either someone's house, like little home, or maybe even a library. But really watch your step. This is really caving in bad. I don't know, I give this place like a, what, like maybe about two, two more winters and it's gone. But, yeah. you know what? And this is exactly why we come to these places and document them and, and preserve its history in a way. Because in about, you know, like I said, maybe two more years, this is going to be collapsed for good. And we still have the documentation where if people wanted to know about this place or see it, we have proof of what, what was still here. This essentially, even, it, it's a time capsule. Just, it's eventually everything collapses and decays and gets ruined. I think we're still in part of the, uh, the hospital wing. I think this is a... And like an apron? Like, like a nurse's uh, or like patient a bib thing. Or... Yeah, there's a box of them, but clearly <laughs> they're getting old and ragged. Well, remember, we still have to find the execution room, the, the, the maybe even, you know, medical room, anything. Yeah. There's so much here. It can take forever, so we got to keep on going. This is what I did a su surgery? Yeah. Wow. I'm freaking out. This is gold. Okay, one more time. Hang on. Yeah, just yeah. kind of shine it right there. Oh my god. This place is a time capsule. 100%. It is, isn't it? Guys, seriously. Like, the amount of people are actually on this chair getting their surgery done. The lights are still almost pretty much intact, which is the one of the rarest things I've ever seen going into abandoned places. Lead paint still all over the place. It, it's ridiculous. This, my friends, is a true hidden gem. Really. You're not going to find this all the time. We're documenting it. We're walking through. We're going everywhere. We're searching high and low. We're trying to find the best spots here in Paterai Prison. Because for all we know, this place is gone tomorrow. Oh my god, this is sick! Yes! Keep that in. All right, come back down. Oh! Look at this. Now I'm going to get an incredible cinematic. I'm going to come up and low. Here we go. People must be one of the cells. Dude, you see what we're in? Room full of their old beds, all the prisoners' beds. You know what I find really cool? That the people who are here, they carved a checkered board. They had nothing else to do. Think about it, everyone was so bored, doing absolutely nothing, keeping themselves sane in any, any way they can. You know what I think is uh, kind of cool, kind of sad, is just how much they tried to brighten this place up just by pasting up. Photos. Any photo, yeah. Anything a little like brighter color than the dark stone and the ugly institutional paint. It may, yeah, I mean, this was their home. Like, they were stuck here. Any way to, to keep sane or make something just make them feel better than using anything they got. You remember you that? Know, girls in bikinis. If I wake up to that, I feel a little bit better. <laughs> well, we go right or left. Left. Let's go down to the end of this hall. I, 
think this is the worst wing yet. Look at yeah. that, double sets of bars on the window. Oh man, this is, yo. Come Even the little table this is, is uh, well This down. is death row, 100%. Think so? This is the worst of the worst. I think we have to literally find the execution room. We need to search yeah. this place. I want to yeah. find it. I agree. After seeing all this, it makes me like eager to find it. More exciting. Oh, is it the frogs? Is it three-legged? No, it's got four legs. No wonder it's bad luck. What's this? I wonder what this was. Do you think one of this one was one of those rides where this like, Oh, experience? yeah, it looks like one of the swing rides. Oh, let's check it. Yeah, this is definitely one of those swing rides. Oh, man. Yo, it's Ghetto Bugs Bunny. <laughs> we have we have just a normal Pluto over here. This one's like okay, but then you come over here and it's like, what were they even trying to do? Oh man! Oh, I think he's like a zombie. Look, it looks like he's been bitten on his arm. Maybe these are the type of photos that are you know unique to uh, urban exploring. You don't always find stuff like this. Yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. These look like the uh, the seven dwarves. Is this Snow White right here? Oh my God! Oh, oh look, she's got an apple. Yo, sh should we try to help Snow White up? No, we can help her up. Yeah, Snow White. Yeah. Lose we some gave, weight, Snow White. We gave it her all. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> yeah, this is like the land of weird, a we land of weird sculptures. Thing. Oh, it's a house of mirrors. Whoa. This is, this is trippy. Let's do that in here. <laughs> now, now I'm actually getting, <laughs> I'm getting lost. Oh, dead end. Looks like we found the entrance to the other side of the Great Wall. Great Wall of Suica. You can see the giant mouse right there. All these guards looking out over the park, watching out over everyone. I wonder what this place looked like before. Uh, look at all these people, they're all dressed differently. There's like uh, like all these water fountains with like... Uh, There's a dolphin? Dolphins and fish. Whoa, it's even open at night? It looks nice at night. Yeah. We've seen a lot of it already so far. Uh, it looks so much more like spread out when you're up above, but when you come down here, you can walk to things pretty quickly. So. Yeah, it's like 15 minutes walking distance the whole park. Yeah, much. let's go. Let's go finish and walk up over there. What do you think this was the entrance or the exit? Uh, probably the entrance. Being I think that it was probably the entrance. Everything too. was so grand here. Yeah. You walk in and you see a field of elephants. Elephants. You see those skulls? Ah, uh, these aren't real. It's really creepy though. And how did it look when it was good? Oh, you gotta hold these ones up. Uh, to be or not to be? That is the question. It's really weird because it's supposedly like a kid's theme park. To me, this would be scary. This is like a nightmare, a kid's nightmare. I say, dude, I say we go in here, look. Yeah, it's man. like you can go along this great wall. Should we climb or should we walk? Yo, are those steps up and through this thing's mouth? No, where? Yo, it's pretty dark in here, man. Yeah, let's, let's get the flashlight. I'm feeling a bit of a breeze coming down here. Yeah, well, if we're right that this is a uh, way the condemned men were taken, then we should be close to an exit. And actually, speaking of exactly what you just said, I think this is the outside. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> this is. This is the, the loading dark. Awesome. I guess you would call it a loading dark or something, but it leads to the outside. It looks like a car would come in here. So the shooting room should be 
somewhere, somewhere you could well, carry a body from. Yeah, because Katya said they would they would load them up. Right. And this looks like the place to load them up. Oh, look, this could be it. This looks like it was the hose where after the, you know the pile of blood was right here, it would splatter and it would drain right over here. You're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. That's really good evidence that this is. Yeah. This could. This man. Room. This has to be the room. You know, the paint is the color of dried blood. They painted it red to cover up. Ah, oh, it makes, it makes perfect sense. But there's still exactly one more room left. That's the hanging room, another execution room, which we still have to find and uncover right now. Let's keep going, man. Now it just looks scary. Oh, this is it. What do you see? <laughs> it's a surprise. Oh yeah? Good surprise? Oh my Bad surprise? god. You know what this is. Oh yeah, I do. You're right. You're totally right. Now yeah. this is way scarier than the execution room. Yeah. This is legit where the hanging went down. All, all the hangings. I'm not exactly sure because if 2,000 people were executed, we can say half of them was hanged, half of them was shot. Point is, if you look up, you can see where the, where the rope would hang. And that's the drop shoot. The excitement of, of, of going to these old places, but yet knowing the history is what makes this, you know, top notch. The fact that Steve is down where they would drop the bodies is just <laughs> freaky enough at, alone. Yeah, it's a grim history, but it does make the place a lot more interesting. Doesn't yeah. It? Now there's two ways they could have hung them, which I'm not fully sure. Either for one, they stood on the chair, obviously over there, and they would just be hung and they would kick the chair. Or two, there could have been a contraption here where they were just standing on the door and they pulled the door down and then they would just get hung. That makes a lot of sense to me. There's uh, old uh, rusted metal supports on the sides of this pit. Uh, that you, I mean, they used to support something, and that's completely taken out now. Can you imagine just walking in here and just seeing the, the you know, that prisoner hung? I've read about it. So, it, like, if you're hanging somebody and doing it right, I mean, not yeah. you specifically, but uh, uh, ideally the person drops enough that the rope snaps their neck, and then things are over pretty quick. So they would have been hung from right there, and there's enough of a, a drop, uh, especially if they were up a little bit to break their neck. If they don't fall far enough to break their neck, then it's like five minutes of strangling to death, which is no fun at all, I believe. And so if you, if you were being an executioner and you wanted to be nice to them and wanted to limit their suffering, you might uh, jump over, uh, uh, hug them around the waist and jump down here and the extra weight maybe would break their neck. And put them so out as morning. our friend here is saying all this, I'm picturing it in my head as if it's, I'm reading a book. It just really disturbs me. This room, the history the overall of this place is very dark and gruesome. And I'm just feeling uncomfortable just being in here now because now I'm picturing everything that's going on. You're explaining, you're explaining it really good. You're, you're giving these really bad images in my head. History can be creepy. It doesn't always have to be boring. Well, I mean, I think we've done it. I think we explored the best of the best in Paterai prison. By the best of the best, you mean where a lot of people died. Yeah. Yeah. By the, yeah. We explored so, the jail rooms. We explored the two execution rooms. We showed the medical rooms. We pretty much showed how Pat Paterai is as of right now in its current state. That's 100%. Yeah. Beautiful place. So at the end of each adventure, we created a ranking system to judge each spot, basing it on four different categories. History, beauty, purity, and thrill. We have a one out of five star rating, we'll call it. And we're gonna start with history first. 2,000 people were executed. They were shocked. The history was amazing. There's so much going on. A sea base built in 1800s. Russians yeah. took over. KGB was here, the Germany, Germans were here, I mean, Estonians, everything was going on. For me, it's a solid five. There's a lot of historical layers here. Yeah, I think it's super cool that way. Beauty. 
I think it has like architectural beauty, but I would only give it a, a three in my own category of visuals. Three. The next one, purity. What purity is, if you guys don't know, what we're basing this off is how preserved is this, is this abandoned place? Does it still have everything inside? What's left on the walls? Things like that. A time capsule, perhaps. That's what I'm basing purity on. I'd give it a three and a half. Just Let's round it to four. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Last but not least, thrill. How exciting was it? <laughs> I'm going to give it a solid five. Oh, really? I would give it a three, just because once we got in and started cruising around, I felt like a historian more than an adventurer. We weren't doing Indiana Jones stuff. I agree. I think a four would be actually better. If you think about it like that, I do like that. We'll give it a four. So after adding up all the numbers of, of our rankings, we came up with a total number of 16. 16 out of 20, right? Yeah, solid. All right, it's time to go. Well done. Got the, you mind your head, you're tall. Oh, this guy's a horse. Whoa, what was that? Dude, that was a bear. These are the Chinese, are these the Chinese things? The horse and the okay, there's two, there's a horse and an ox, dude. Oh, dude, there's bats here. No way. Yeah. It's so close. <laughs> oh! It's still, it's still there, guys. Sweet. There was a bat like two feet away from us. It just flew away. We might be able to get a shot of it real quick. But it's a baby bat. Yeah. We are literally in a bat cave. It's right there. You see it? Oh, it's right there. Okay, I think it should be good. Oh, I've never seen a bat so close. Dude, this note, this note looks so weird. I'm getting the vlog in there. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, 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 oh it's over there. Look at the, uh, look at the paintings. Uh, this woman is literally putting an ax into this baby's head. See, I don't know how this would work as a, as a kid's amusement park. You know what, man? This kind of reminds me of a place from Hong Kong. It's like a representation of like the different layers of hell. And I, 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 I remember something about like each layer had a different torture. Oh. I think you're right, dude, about the 12 zodiac. This I, is the pig. I think so. We saw the, uh, the horse, the ox. Now we gotta look for my dog. This is crazy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's like circling me. So let's, let's give it a scoring. Let's start off with history. The most amazing history, I don't think. So on that level, I think like maybe out of five, like a three. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it like a, like yeah, a I agree. Three. Like a three on the history. Next is beauty. I think it's pretty awesome. It is overgrown, obviously it's abandoned. Uh, and that adds to the I, beauty of things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think, out of five, I'd give it a four. four. Give, yeah, solid four, yeah, 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 yeah. I like mine. Four. Purity? Yo, I, I have to I have to I have to take marks away. It's like it's not really well preserved. I'd probably give it a, a three. Good? Yeah. yeah purity. Good. Three. Good. Three. Good. Next one. Real. Grab onto the metal parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh ho, ho, ho. that was a pretty epic adventure coming here. Like yeah, just if if you if you count that you part, mean. just like being able to travel around on a moped. Whoa! I'd say probably like a a four. Four, four. Let's give it a four. So we got three, four, three, four. That's 14. 14. 14 out of 20. I'm wondering what's going to be the, the, you know, 20 out of 20. Cream of the crop. The cream of the crop place. If this is 14 out of 20, 20 20 must be f super epic. There's a, there's a soldier up there. That's a terracotta warrior. We are on the Great Wall of China. <laughs> We're gonna go in this pagoda, which is the highest point here. So we should be able to see as much as we can see at this point, and the light is beautiful right now. I wanna show like how high up we are, uh -huh. but also this, this tower in the background. So let's see. Maybe we should have one of us sit there. Three, two, one. Yo, man. Adventure is out there.